Thanks for tuning in. Today, I actually want to share my thoughts on a pretty understated low-key Hermes bag that I think everybody needs. If you're tuning in for the first time, hi, my name's Katie. I like to do these luxury fashion videos here on YouTube. I share hauls and reviews, but at the end of the day, I share my journey so we can all mindfully curate our own collections. If you like what you're seeing, please subscribe to my channel, like this video, and leave a comment down below with your favorite Hermes handbag. All of your support really means a lot to me. Oh, and don't forget, I do have a giveaway live on my channel. I will link that video up above and in the description box down below so you can check out all of the details. And I will absolutely be announcing the winner in a video, probably in early September. So I know, I know, it's a bold statement to make. But honestly, this is a handbag that I haven't really heard anybody else talk about or mention. I don't think it's the most, you know, well known or on everybody's radar or anything like that, but I really feel like it is such an awesome piece that is so that just needs more airtime. <laughs> So, um, and I also have gotten some questions about this style as well, so I wanted to answer some of those bits as well as share some wear and tear, all that good stuff. So the bag in question is not a Bergen, is not a Kelly, but in fact is the Ultra Plat men's bag. This is a crossbody bag. It, this, I believe, is the larger size. It might even be the largest. Um, I will put all of the detailed product information in the description box down below, as well as the retail price at the time of purchase uh, for last year in September. So that would be 2021 September. This is in black Clemence leather and silver or um, palladium hardware, as you can see. Um, it is a non-adjustable strap with these two main compartments. The large one is in the back here, and it fits a ton of stuff, and then there's a small zipper in the front um, that's also, I mean, that like fits your entire wallet and all that good stuff. So this is the bag style in question. I've been getting some questions about how this bag has been holding up and how we like using it. Now, for some additional context, this is actually my partner's bag. Um, we purchased it when we were in Hawaii last year and my partner was looking for uh, a very comfortable messenger style bag, um, something that wasn't too big and bulky, something that was easy to wear for like daily use. And we didn't know this style existed until our sales associate pulled it out from the stock room. And as soon as we saw it, we were like, oh, what is this? And then as soon as he tried it on, it was like game over. And I can attest to how comfortable this bag is. This is like one of the most comfortable bags I have ever put on my body. I almost want to go as far as saying, I really think this is a better, more usable, bag than getting like a medium or a GM size Evelyn and like don't come at me don't come at me but I'm not a huge fan of the Evelyn bag shape the only size that I think looks cute is the TPM size which is the smallest size now I have a vintage Vespa which is practically the same size as a vintage TPM so I recognize how little fits in that bag it's usually perfect for day to day, but you know how sometimes you want something that carries a little bit more, you know? Um, and so I even thought about maybe getting like a mid-sized Evelyn, but I just can't with the shape of how the Evelyn ends up kind of getting saggy. And like you see, like it gets all these like lumps and bumps from the items that are inside the bag. That's just my personal opinion. So I feel like if you are looking for that kind of mid-sized, cross-body, super comfortable, super easy to wear bag style from Hermes, this is like, this is the way to go. I was recently in Paris, right? And I saw a number of these, at least at the Sevres store when we went, we were able to look at men's handbags without a leather appointment. They were like, oh, men's bags are so much easier. Like, what do you want to see? And we were able to try on and look at like so many of the men's bags without a leather appointment. 
which tells me that it's probably easier to get this than it is to get an Evelyn. And this one is just so much more comfortable, so much more spacious. Plus it has a zipper. <laughs> it has a zipper so your items are super secure. And there's just something like there's, it's a, it's like a wonderful combination of that luscious Hermes leather with a sleek design and also just functionality. There's something about this bag that fits a lot, but it stays so close to your body and it, 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 just, it just envelopes you. It just morphs right into your body. I have to stand, you can't see my head, so please ignore that part. But I just wanna show you just like how comfortably it just like wraps around your body. It feels like it's not there. That's how much it is so like, has such a slim profile, but it doesn't mean that you can't fit bulky things in there. Like my partner fits his wallet, and keys and like all sorts of random stuff that honestly doesn't fit in my bag. I'll like give it to him so he can fit it in here instead. And like, look at, look at how slim it is. It doesn't take up a lot of space. It's not protruding out of your body. If you wear a jacket on top of this, it's pretty much hidden. And that's how my partner wears it a lot as well. I feel like because we have this, I really don't have to look for an Evelyn. But I also asked for all of his thoughts on like using this bag He's gotten a ton of compliments on it too. It's, it's, I just think it's a little bit unexpected, but it's so easy to wear. It's still very stylish. And I think it's stylish for both men and women. It's not like it's a limiting style. If I had to share a couple of things that I wish were better about it, it would be nice if it was adjustable straps. But honestly, I don't think there are any Hermes handbags that are adjustable straps outside of the Evelyn because the Evelyn has like the canvas straps. But outside of that, I think all of their handbags are pretty much like one strap length. Um, so that, maybe that's a characteristic of the house. <laughs> so this one, I believe, is a the longer strap length. I have seen some of these on display in the boutiques that have a shorter strap length. So those are really only a shoulder carry. Personally, I think the longer strap is a better option than the shorter one um, because you're able to put this cross body. The, the shorter one really is only going to be a shoulder carry. The other thing that I think would take this bag to the next level is just availability in other colors. Because this is a men's bag, the only colors that I've seen it in and the only colors that have really ever been mentioned to me are this uh, noir, this black color, uh, also this cobalt blue color, uh, which if I can find a picture, I'll try to post, um, show one here. Uh, I think in Paris, I've also seen it in white. I don't know if they make this style in like all the colors of the rainbow. I think it's because it's a men's bag that it's a little bit, the range of colors is, is smaller, but that's something that I wish they would really consider because I feel like this could be a, this could be an amazing bag. For the money, I feel like you get so much quality leather and such a usable piece that you're not going to think about how much money you spent on this. Really wish Hermes will continue to make this style and also release it in more colors because honestly, if there is another like really cute color, even if it was like an army green or something like that, like I would seriously consider getting one just to add to the collection because it's such an easy bag to wear. As I mentioned, there's also a smaller size of this as well. So there is a style that's like a little bit smaller. Um, that's also really cute. For some women, you might prefer that style over this one if you're not looking for something that's so large. So definitely check out the men's bags at Hermes because I feel like there are some gems tucked away in there. Like most Hermes handbags, uh, the inside of the bag is leather lined. And and it's not too heavy. It really isn't that heavy. You would think because it's a full leather lined bag that it's gonna weigh a ton. I think because it doesn't have a lot of hardware on it, it's pretty lightweight. I mean, you see it kind of sagging down right now because it's actually filled with stuff. But if you, if you just have the bag empty, it's like super light. To mention some updates on like wear and tear, honestly, the only thing that I notice over the almost year that uh, my partner's been using this bag is a little bit of the natural softening of the leather, uh, which 
I think it's a good sign. That means your, your bag is getting worn and it's getting kind of molding to you, getting softer with use. Uh, that's really the only sign of any sort of wear that I see on this bag. Other than that, like the hardware is all still super shiny. You saw how easy it is for me to like open and close this bag. And none of the corners are really showing anywhere. So it's holding up really well. If the Ultra Plot wasn't already on your wish list, I hope it is now. If it's not on your wish list, maybe at least like the next time you visit, you can always ask just to see if they have one. Just see it in person, see, see how you feel. I feel like it's just such a well-constructed, um, well, like well-functioning handbag that is just so easy to use. But if you have any other specific questions about this item or really anything else, feel free to leave them down below or head on over to Instagram and I'd be happy to help however I can. If you like this video and you found it helpful, please give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate all of your feedback and support. If you like this kind of content and you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. I post new fashion related videos every Sunday and Wednesday. So until next time, bye.